Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a Fusion ERP user as well as how do we create an employee in Oracle Fusion ERP. So we'll try to understand what is the navigation as well as the query behind, a very simple query behind who created and when it was created. So the first thing is how do we create a user? Once you have any other user login, you can just click on tools and then navigate to navigate to security console navigate to security console and then once you click on security console you could see an option roles as well as users as well as other set of things like analytics certificates user categories but our concentration is on the user creation so we have to click on users and then click on add user account so here it will ask you the mandatory information the first thing here if you observe is like a user category you can go with the default mention the first name last name and the email and automatically it will generate a username and you can select the appropriate one and select the password enter the password and that's it you can just click on save and save and close and if at all if you want to add any roles you can add up or you can later point of time also you can add the roles okay so this is how it looks like once you add the users user now if you want to log in with the user which you created you can what we can do is you can just log into the fusion erp url mention the username password then click on sign in so as we have not added any roles we could see only three tabs here me tools and others and in the tools application we could see only few things like a set preferences approvals as well as report analytics nothing but very 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 minimal privileges with when you create a user now you can also use a what you call a table called per underscore users so this is a table where it will store the Oracle Fusion ERP users. And it, if you observe the very important thing here is like person ID, nothing but the user, whatever the user which we created, it is not assigned to any HRMS employee, okay? There are different set of reasons behind it and the purposes will have it. So for now, what we have done is we just simply created a user using the tools and security console. So when you create a user using tools and security console, you will not get assigned nothing but no employee will get created for your user now we'll see another variant okay how do we create an employee first of all and then we'll see what is the difference between that and this and this is a this is a like a, a legal employee of an organization and how do we create it you just need to click on my team click on new person and click on hire an employee and here you have to mention all the basic the personal details of an employee like a hire date the legal employer the address detail personal detail like you'll have around five what do you call five pages where you have to enter and once you enter and click on finish and what will happen is the it will submit an ess job and then employee as well as user both will get created so we can see that if you observe the tables per underscore user you can see that i have a username and at the same time it got linked to a person id nothing but whatever the employee name which we mentioned that will get created with the same username here and also that is linked to a person id so we have a user as well as employee created now we'll just try to see the same set of functionality while logging to a fusion application so first thing is we'll try to create a user so tools security console and click on users and click on add user account okay so i'll say xx fusion erp i'll xx fusion dot erp at the rate test.com and mention the password i'll say welcome at the rate one two three welcome at the rate one two three and simply click on save and close okay let me enter the password again welcome at the rate one two three welcome at the rate one two three Click on save and close. Okay, the user got created. So let's try, we just search it. Okay. So let's try to get the list here. SQL query. And this is our query. Select star from per underscore users order by creation date descending so that will get our data
Okay, so what was the username? xxfusion.erp. Just search that xxf and we should see our user. Last one, this is our user, right? Yeah, now we'll try to log in to our Fusion apps. So, what I can do is I can just use a new tab. I'm at a new tab, like a new browser in an incognito. I'm using Chrome. So, I can log in multiple users by trying with a incognito fashion. So, what is the username? xxfusion.erp xxfusion.erp password welcome rate one two three okay so we are able to create the user and we could see by default as we have not assigned any roles we'll have a very very minimal set of roles which are assigned by default okay me tools and others now let us see other kind of fashion what we do is now just click on home screen so here I have an implementation user. That's the reason I could see all roles, all privileges using which I can create a user employee and all of them. So here I'll click on my employee, uh, my enterprise, but it is not showing the page, right? What I can try is you can just click in this navigator one and let's try that. I don't see here, but we should have it. So let me try. Click on this particular one. My enterprise. So let's see the navigation for that. It's not my enterprise, sorry, it is my team, right? My enterprise is for the security feature. We generally use it. It's for my team. So let's navigate my team. In the my team, click on new person and you have a set of options. You can just select the appropriate thing like a hire an employee. Okay, you can just say the legal employer. Okay, I'll say employee last, XX employee first, or it's a very simple thing you can mention XX EMP first, XX EMP last. This is my first name, this is my last name, and other non mandatory things I'll just simply ignore for now. Yeah, so we have to enter this one. One, I'll try to enter the data, zip code, search it. Select a specific address, geography, whatever it is, and you can just click on next. Next. And it is asking the business unit. So I'll go with US1 business unit. So I have selected a specific legal entity. So I'll go with this business unit. Next. Okay, submit. So now our employee name is xxemp first dot xxemp last, right? So let's try that. So just click on view. I mean, the, I'm going to BI now. I'll just try to see whether it got created. It may take a couple of seconds. XXEMP dot first, right? XXEMP, or we can try here. Tools, security console. So it's still processing. So it's not it created. What we can do is it would have it's submitted in a scheduled job, right? You can go to tools, schedule processes, and see whether is there any other pending jobs are there by that we can understand. Maybe it is taking some time. I don't see any jobs, but let me try again. Let's try again. Click on my team. My team, I'll go with my team again.
but this is a process where we can create an employee okay so we can try again maybe we can show you one more let's try so I click on new person hire an employee so i'll just go with the same thing now Yes, one legal entity. Right, so uh, it does not need to create because we you know we got the employee, right? You could see here if I observe, it just took a couple of seconds and you can see that like uh, the latest employee which I created using the new employee logic. So it created user with this name and also it created employee okay so this is how we can you know try with a uh, employee creation as well as you know like uh, only user creation in oracle fusion erp okay thank you